President Biden, you said a couple of years ago that Putin does not want you to win because you're the only person that could go toe to toe with him. Well, right now, Mr. President, you're playing footsie with Putin and you're losing. Look, I like Putin. He likes me. You know, we get along. It's bad. Isn't it? Wouldn't you say it's smart to get along? When you look at this administration and when you look at the chief executive and you look at the national security staff that he has around him and you look at the vice president, it's, it's a constant pattern of weakness. When President Trump was was in office, you know, he was resolute and he was also predictably unpredictable. He kept adversaries on their back foot all of the time. Trump projected strength. Putin took note. He didn't try anything on when Trump was there. Neither did China's dictator, Xi, or Iran, or little rocket man. Now let's look at what Biden has projected. On the actual substance, actions, not words, it's been a slow motion surrender to Vladimir Putin. To see the way the Biden administration has handled uh, Ukraine is a testament to a historic truth, that weakness arouses evil. I don't believe. Vladimir Putin would have a couple of hundred thousand troops on the border of Ukraine had we not precipitously withdrawn from Afghanistan last August. And we're showing a lot of weakness on the world stage, and that's why we're so vulnerable. This didn't happen under the Trump administration. Uh, this happened under Obama's uh, tenure, and now the Biden administration. We had a great, actually, we had a great discussion, uh, President Putin and myself. I thought it was really a, a tremendous discussion. Somebody said, he gets along well with Putin. I'm saying to myself, but isn't that sort of a good thing? Is that bad? Putin declares a big portion of the Ukraine, of Ukraine. Putin declares it as independent. Oh, that's wonderful. So Putin is now saying it's independent, a large section of Ukraine. I said, how smart is that? I think it's a, uh, a citizen's duty to hold the president accountable. Uh, but the, that's not what the GOP is about at this point. This is about, um, you know, whatever Biden's in favor of, they're against it. Uh, and they will change positions back and forth depending on what the president's doing at any